hi guys welcome back for today's action but today you're going to be having more a little tips on how to keep safe at every point in time it might will in, in involve some few security tips and then how to defend yourself during uh, weapon attacks how what you expect first point is if you have to if you want to be safe or keep safe at all times you have to be conscious of your actions and your movement at every point in time let's assuming you are out with your friend a friend or some some group of persons that you don't know them that much and you don't trust them let me use that word trust you don't trust them because when you don't trust someone or the situation you know you expect anything anything can happen so as a martial artist to be safe you must always be conscious of safety you must always be conscious of your environment be conscious of whoever that is within you that your friend or any company that is around you all right what example is this when you are in the midst of a, a people and uh, you are not too sure of them please do not keep yourself in the center make sure you always stay apart some inches away and close to the wall because they say that the wall is your friend it's only the wall that cannot attack you but any even your friend may turn out to attack you when you least expect so at that point one of the number one security tips at that point when you're in the midst of people is you have to stay at the extreme that extreme the wall must be your partner every other person should be at your side that is in front of you not behind you because anything behind you should be the wall okay that's number one secondly always be watchful care be careful of who and what what actions and the the the, the gestures of the people around there let's assume there's uh, somebody in front of you or somebody just accosted you and engage you in some unfriendly conversation at that point when you look at the person look at the expression you can read maybe you can read danger or you can read safety if you read safety then you relax and interact but if you read danger how do you read danger look at his face and look at the tone the tone of the tone is using to communicate with you and the words that he's using will tell you that oh this guy this person is up to something that's one two look at his hands if his hands are not on site that is his hands are hidden probably maybe his hands are in his pocket or behind him ha that calls for great attention you have to be very careful with such a one and when he at that point you need to give him a distance don't get close don't get closer than comfort so you give him a space a distance and engage continue with the conversation then if he's trying to take some steps closer to you you take some steps a bit back the same step is bringing closer take the same steps backward just maintain that distance that is comfortable the distance that will help you to react if anything happens because one you have not seen his hands it could mean that he's with a weapon he's ready to take an action on you so if you are too close for comfort he will take that action without you knowing but when you have given that comfortable space before he takes such actions you have seen and you will you've already sensed it you will know what to do at that point because the the space will give you enough time for you to take your calculation and respond now if somebody comes with a knife at a close range you know the distance that you give if somebody comes with a weapon like a gun you know the distance the weapon like a gun 
will require the, not the same distance that the knife requires is not the same distance that the, weapon, the, uh, the gun requires. The, their distances are different. Now, if the, the, the gun, for the gun, you require a close range to some maximum degree of a close range for you to be able to take action, the counter action. If the distance is too far, it will leave you with no option but to, to surrender. But if it is a knife, a knife doesn't, whether it's close or it's far, you can take your action. But it should not be clo too close. If it's too close, he will take you on our ways. So you have to keep that space. Okay? Now, for today, this is just the few tips we want to bring to you. Ponder over it and consider it. It's a very important tip. Remember, subscribe. And for our already subscribers, we urge you to continue to view our channels and get updates on our recent videos. We will come your way again. The next time we'll come your way, we are going to show you the actions on the weapon, the different ways how to defend the knife at close and distance range and also with the gun. So stay tuned for that. Thank you.